What's going on guys? As you can tell, I have a new camera. Uh, it came because of a comment uh, that hurt my feelings a little bit. It did. But uh, um, but it's good. I like the criticism because it helps me grow this channel. So if you guys feel that something does need to be changed, please let me know. Um, that's the only way I'm going to make the channel better if someone actually tells me. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I got a camera. As you can tell, it's way better. I actually like this setting. I know you guys are probably gonna start ripping on me uh, about this this golden setting a little bit. It makes me feel like I'm on seventh heaven. If you guys remember that show, that's exactly what makes you feel like I'm on. So uh, we're gonna stick with it. Um, so yeah, we got some articles today, uh, kind of discussing some some pretty crazy stuff. So I don't know uh, what your thoughts on it are, but before we get into it, I actually wanted to say something. Yesterday, I picked up a friend. Uh, we was, I picked him, picked him up from work and we was heading back to his house and uh, on the radio, the lady started talking about Bitcoin. It wasn't directly about Bitcoin, but she mentioned Bitcoin. She mentioned uh, Bitcoin, Visa card and uh, MasterCard and, and uh, money orders. She was saying that there's some, some people out there trying to scam other people. Um, so be careful as people are asking you about uh, to, to give them Bitcoins. Uh, money from your uh, MasterCard or whatever. I'm not too sure what the scam was, but I did hear the word Bitcoin. But she said it so nonchalant, like it was normal, like uh, it's just Bitcoin. Like, so maybe, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just thinking that no one knows about Bitcoin, and maybe the world does. I just don't understand. Uh, she's made it seem like she didn't have to explain what Bitcoin was to people. She just said Bitcoin. So I'm assuming maybe uh, people already know what Bitcoin is. Um, but that's good. That just that's just a sign, you know, between the person in McDonald's, the lady on the radio, and, and this was like in one month time, I'm hearing more and more people talking on their own about Bitcoin. So I think that's a good sign. I like it. Um so yeah, oh yeah, I might have to change the settings a little bit. It just got dark, man. I don't know what happened. It was it was golden before. It was, the video quality was golden and now it just got like really gothic and stuff but uh we're gonna have to stick with it because i'm gonna have to pause the video and and end it out it's too much so uh i'm gonna play with it after this video um just want to let you guys know that I'm, I'm listening to you guys you know all right so this article man borrows three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars to borrow bitcoin is it investment or gambling i don't know i mean you know the funny thing is I even considered selling my house to buy Bitcoin. And I know that's crazy. I know out there, that, but I feel that that's less of a gamble because, you know, I dedicate, for, I dedicate so many years to Bitcoin already. You know, I got to see, it's not like I'm just heard about Bitcoin now and I'm just, you know, all or nothing. I got to see what Bitcoin is about. I got to be part of the community. I got to talk to a lot of people of the community. So I kind of know where, where it's heading. So I have an idea of what I'm doing as far as cryptocurrency. Um, if you're just coming into the game now and you just heard about Bitcoin and you just say, all right, I'm going to buy a bunch of Bitcoin, I'm going to sell everything, I, I wouldn't really do that. I will, I will research what you're buying, number one. Um, and number two, put what you can afford to lose because who knows, Bitcoin might not go to where you want it to be, uh, which I, I definitely think it would, but uh, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. That's not the wisest investment to do. You want to diversify a little bit. Uh, but yeah, as far as me, uh, I thought about it. I, def I definitely did. Um, you know, I, I figured it, it wouldn't be that much of a, a stress because I already know Bitcoin's going to go up. It's not like it's something that uh, I have to guess or I've been involved in it for so long. I, I already know. You know, I'm not that, uh, I'm not a newbie of uh, the crypto space. So I understand, you know, where the path is going. And right now I feel that Bitcoin is pretty cheap. So I don't know if this guy is just crazy to do it. The thing is, I wouldn't actually take out a loan to buy Bitcoin. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, if I'm gonna risk something, I'm gonna risk something that I already own, fully own that I'm taking the blow for it. I don't wanna take out a loan because now if it doesn't work out in your favor, oh, there it goes the golden. I like it, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I, if, if, um, if, the, if it doesn't work out in your favor, then you're gonna actually have to pay back uh, that loan on top of being being broke. So I, I don't think that's the best uh, decision to take out a loan to buy Bitcoin. Maybe back in the day when uh, Bitcoin was a couple hundred dollars, you could take a $5,000 loan, buy a couple and be fine. But this guy is actually trying to uh, buy 191 Bitcoins. Um, I'm just kind of briefly looking over the sentence. 
But yeah, uh, I, I definitely that's a lot of bitcoins, but I wouldn't I wouldn't really buy it with the loan. If if you're selling your house, buy it. And then that's that's on you. That's 100 percent your risk. If your house is paid off, you don't own a, a, owe a mortgage or whatever. That's on you. That then that's completely on you. Um, but I don't know. You, you guys let me know if you think this is investment or gambling. I feel the way that person is doing it is definitely seems like a little bit of a gamble. Because it doesn't really seem like she really knows too much about Bitcoin. If you, if you waited up until 100, 170,000, I mean, 100, 1,700 for Bitcoin. I wish it was 170,000. Man, we would be, uh, we would step definitely to the moon by now. But, um, yeah, I, I definitely feel it's a little bit of a gamble. I, I don't, I don't think taking out a loan to buy Bitcoin is the smartest investment at all. Um, cause you never know. It's not promised. Yes. It's, I don't want to say guaranteed because we don't know what the future might hold. We don't know. I, so far, so good. Everything seems to be okay, but you don't, you, know, you can't predict the future. So, um, doing something like that is pretty crazy. That's a lot of money too. Uh, $325,000 is a lot of big money. So uh, if it all goes to shit, then you're going to have to pay it all back. And I, I don't, I, I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't want to be the guy to actually have to do that. Um, so it looks like now Bitcoin is actually stabilizing a little bit. We did see go all the way, it touched, touched 1,900, just tapped it a little bit, but it came back down. Um, it's leveling out. It's, it's, like I said, it's going to correct itself. I already, I already know it's going to, it usually does that. It finds it's a new uh, position to uh, stabilize that and then from there it just continues back up. So uh, we should be hitting uh, two thousand dollars in no time. Honestly, I really feel like uh, you know uh, it's definitely not going to go down to like back down to thirteen hundreds. That's those days are pretty much gone. Um, you might get lucky. You might have another microphone come out and say something bad about it, which I'm actually hoping so I can get a little bit cheaper. Uh, but as far as right now, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and Ethereum is you know for Ethereum guys who like Ethereum. Ethereum is still holding, you know, and I, I feel Ethereum is going to hold. I don't think it's going to drop down. You know, there's a lot of people out there that says, oh, it's just being pumped up. I feel there's so many people that want Ethereum, not as much as Bitcoin, uh, but people do want Ethereum. I'm not a big Ethereum fan, so I'm not one of those, but there are people out there. So, you know, I, I feel the price might hold. I don't know. Um, that's on to you. This is not investment advice. I don't just go out there and buy a bunch of Ethereum. Oh, my word. Uh, Australia... Uh, recognizes Bitcoin as money, and that's good. And uh, protects Bitcoin businesses with no tax. That's good. You see, Australia, you're doing good. You know, the United States is lacking a little bit. That's good, especially when um, all this stuff is going on in the news about the economies and the collapse and all this other stuff. That's good. You, you, you're setting your people up for a, a, a positive future. Um, as far as other places that just you can't buy Bitcoin at, like the United States. You can't. It's hard to buy Bitcoin. It's it's extremely hard. Um, I go to a lot of exchange sites, and it's it's, it's like you're you're uh, from North Korea or something. It's like you, you can't buy them. It, it's some will lie and some don't. But I know that for the European um, countries, you can buy them like that, and it's not a problem. And I, I, I like seeing Australia taking a new look uh, about it because before they were really uh against Bitcoin. Now I'm starting to see uh, they, they're starting to favor it a little bit because I guess they're starting to realize that, yeah, this is a good thing for our citizens to have. It puts us a little bit more of a, a lead than uh, at a disadvantage. Uh, I guess people are catching on to that as far as government institutions are catching on to that. Um, there's actually two articles about it. I will leave that in the description. You can check it out for yourself. If you're interested, if you're from Australia, you go check it out. Um, this is the one I kind of want to talk about. Steaming. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was definitely, I'm definitely into steaming. I, I do like, I don't post on it as much anymore because I, I started noticing what was going on. Those of you who still post, I commend you. You know, but I, I started to see what was going on. A lot of people were like pumping it up and just sucking all the money out of steaming. And I just felt like I don't want to be a part. I don't want to do that. You know, I know it's definitely a good platform. And uh, once it hit five cents, I seen it and I was like, I have to get this. I know Steam is really good. I know it's not going to go down to zero. Um, so I actually seen it go all the way as low as five cents. And I was thinking about getting it. I was thinking about buying a lot of it. But I was like, I, I ended up buying something else instead. Um, I think it was Dash. It was Dash. And uh, 
but now the price has gone up. I don't know if it's going to hold this long. Um, it's really not much going on about it. I don't know what changed on CMA because I've been on it and I, I haven't seen nothing. I mean, it does look a little different, but I don't see anything major why the price would just start flying up to the moon. Um, it could be just being pumped up a little bit, but I do see Steam as a good platform. But, you know, it is a good way to socialize amongst each other and get paid for it. So, um, I do feel uh, it will be around for a while. It just needs to be ironed out a little bit as far as uh, the display goes. It's kind of rough around the edges, but it's new. It, it, what do you expect? It's, it's new. Um, but yeah, another thing that's actually pretty exciting. Uh, Bitstamp is now accepting credit cards for Bitcoin purchases. It's a good way. It's now we're kind of diversifying a little bit. It's not. I don't like to see just Coinbase being the one uh, controlling the show. That's not safe. That is terribly not safe. Um, we have the Gemini. Those are like the two ones that are controlling the show. That's not good. It's good to see other uh, exchange sites, exchange sites trying different things uh, to try to. Make the market more uh, flexible for our new people to buy bitcoins and not just have to directly go to uh, two exchanges. Because when I refer people, I hate referring to Coinbase, but that seems like the only place I could extend a new person so they can understand what cryptocurrency is about. I don't like sending them there because I know we're just uh, making it too concentrated with just a bunch of new people going to one exchange site. It's, it's very easy to control something like that. So. And with that being said, I'm not really going to get too much in that. But it is good. You guys should go check it out and uh, go see what it's about. You know, Bitstamp is it's pretty good. You know, I, I use I still have an account with them. I don't really buy too much. I actually use a different site to uh, buy my cryptocurrency. It, it's, it's, it's very straight to the point. The site I use is very straight to the point. They don't give you all those bells and whistles and charts. And you just buy a cryptocurrency, they send it to your wallet, and that's that. It's not, nothing fancy. But, um, all right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, punch those too, that will help out a lot. And um, yeah, just tell me what you think about all these articles. I don't know, I wouldn't spend that much money on, on I wouldn't take a loan out that expensive for, you know, Bitcoins. If it was like something I personally own, yeah, a house, a car, cool, I can sell that, I take the loss. I wouldn't take a loan, it's too risky, you never know. But I wish that man the best, tell me what you think. See ya.